Stanley, do you want to help me make some breakfast? Yeah, okay. We're gonna make an oatmeal bake, one of mommy's favorite things in the morning. That's right, we need to take that off. We can take that off. Okay, what I like to do, Stanley, is I like to blend the ingredients up, and I like to blend up some dates because that adds some sweetness. We're gonna have some bananas. Can you help peel the banana for me, Stanley? So I have three dates, and then we're gonna have two bananas. You wanna peel this? Pull it off. Right here, can you pull this? Good job, thank you. You want to pull this side too? Pull it. Oh, uh oh, that's okay. Can you put this in here for me? Can you put it in there? Put it in there. Get it in. Good job. Okay, so we have two bananas, three dates. Stanley, can you put this banana in as well? Good, and then will you hand me an egg? We're gonna have two eggs. Can you hand me one? Thank you. So crack it, put it in. Can I have that one too? Thank you. Two. So you can add as many dates as you want if you want it sweeter. I like to, we only need two. Yeah, that probably doesn't taste very good, does it? Let's close it back up. Um, but I add two to four dates, um, two bananas, and a couple eggs, and then I'm gonna use two cups of milk, whatever kind of milk you want, regular milk, almond milk, um, it can be coconut water, just something to give liquid. And then, Stanley, this is your favorite part. We're gonna blend it, okay? So, we plug it in. Okay, can you flip the switch right here? Go up. <gasps> oh, now we gotta go turn it up. Okay, now that that's blended, Stanley, we need to work on our dry ingredients. We're gonna get a bowl. Oh, you're gonna turn it back on. Okay, use a little more blending. I'm using two cups of oats. So what I love about this recipe is I think it's pretty easy to follow because I kind of just do two of everything. Two cups oats, two eggs, two bananas. Was that scary, big guy? You really jumped there. Um, so two cups of oats, two cups of milk, two eggs, two bananas. I use three dates, but you can use two dates. We also need Stanley. Uh, I need a few more ingredients. All right, I add to the oats some baking powder. I'm just doing a teaspoon. I'm also gonna do some cinnamon. I'm gonna do a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then I'm gonna do about a half teaspoon of salt. And then I mix all these ingredients together. And one of the reasons I've started blending is I just, I really like how the bananas and the dates make the entire thing sweet. Instead of having like little chunks of sweetness, the whole thing is sweet. You wanna stir? You stir? Thank you. And I'm also gonna add two tablespoons chia seeds. Are you eating that, Stanley? Is it good? So, and when I do this, I don't really do a perfect measurement. I just kind of go with it, and usually it turns out, so we'll hope it turns out this time. All right, are you done blending, Stan? Are you done blending? Think it's ready? Okay, let's pour it in. Can you help Mommy pour it in? First, we have to take this off, yep. Can you help pour? 
Can you help pour this in, Stan? Pour it in, yep. Good. There we go. Good job, Stanley. Thank you so much for that help. That was such a good boy. Then I mix this. And the chia seeds really absorb a lot of the, the liquid. And so I actually let it sit out on the countertop for a little bit to let those absorb before I put it in the oven. Now I'm gonna get some fruit to add, some frozen fruit. And I'm gonna butter a pan. And then we're gonna put it in the oven stand. But we can't eat this, because this has raw eggs. So I butter the pan. Uh, sometimes I put butter in. Um, or coconut oil in, but coconut oil always gets so cold and then it congeals, so a lot of times I'll just butter the pan and then put a little bit of, I'll uh, crumble up some butter and put it on top. But after I butter the pan, I layer the bottom with frozen berries. Once it's on a good layer, I just pour the mixture on top. Then sometimes I just make it a little more even. And all those bubbles are just kind of from the banana when it gets mixed up. And then Crumble a little butter on top, and then we'll just let it sit for um, up to an hour, and then I put it in the oven at 375 for about uh, 35 to 45 minutes, and then I eat it in the morning. It's ready to go in the morning, so this is pretty easy to make, pretty quick to make, and you can add things like nuts. I'm not adding nuts um, just because Stanley, a lot of times I give this to him, and I'm uh, he's not as good at chewing nuts as uh, us adults with all of our molars, so I try to leave the nuts out of it when I know I'm going to be sharing with Stanley. Sometimes I switch it up and put um, slices of banana on top as well or different fruit on the bottom. You can. What I love about this recipe is you can really switch it up and make it uh, different every day. So uh, you have the same base, but you can add different, different fruits and different spices to make it um, different. You could do like a apple one with apple and cinnamon and nutmeg. So yeah, hopefully it turns out in the morning. We'll find out. <laughs>